Cities and towns all across the country are embracing bicycling. The Bicycle Friendly Community Program, run by the League of American Bicyclists, provides incentives, hands-on assistance, and award recognition for communities that actively support bicycling. Downtown Chicago has seen an explosion in bicycling that is celebrated each year in one of the country's biggest bike-to-work days. I think there's a whole change of attitude about bike riding here in the city. Okay. When you think about it, it's biking, pedestrians, and public transportation. Bicycle-friendly communities are places with a high quality of life, places where people want to live, work, and visit. What we can do is to recognize the connection between our energy usage and our transportation systems and how we plan our communities. So that we're asking communities in an area like Chicago to plan intelligently and to think about how are we steering development back in instead of simply spreading it out. In the heart of America lies Louisville, Kentucky, which has emerged as a leader in becoming bicycle friendly. Their 100 mile loop trail is just a part of a bicycle system which is getting residents out and active. In the private sector, companies like Humana are providing incentives for biking to work, while the mayor is an advocate for cycling and politics. The fact is grandparents and kids and grandkids can enjoy bicycling. And it's created a, a family uh, atmosphere, and it's created an opportunity for people of all ages to, if they're ready to really get out and stay fit, uh, to have that option throughout the community. Encouraging bicycling is a simple way towards improving public health. With more people bicycling, communities experience reduced traffic demands, improved air quality, and greater physical fitness. The state of Utah has embraced bicycling as an economic motivator, bringing tourism to its towns and companies to its cities. I mean, I can't think of a sport other than skiing recently that has so transformed our state. Right. And if you were to say over the next 20 to 40 years, I think biking will be even bigger than skiing in the state. Salt Lake has made being bicycle friendly a major part of its transit plan. To me it's important to be recognized as a, as a leader in developing a good bikeway system. Bikes benefit all aspects, I think, of our lives and our community. In nearby Park City, the Mountain Trails Foundation is a model of how grassroots work can translate into big results. We had developed this spectacular, connected 400 miles of backcountry trail. And most of the trails really right now connect to the houses, to the hotels. You can get on your bike from anywhere in town onto a trail without having to drive. Well, bicycle friendly communities are important all over the country, but certainly in Iowa, we're looking for ways to, in, in our city, in Des Moines, to make a healthier communities. And bicycle uh, is a cheap way to get around, and a great way. In 2008, Boulder, Colorado joined Davis, California, and Portland, Oregon as one of America's three platinum-rated bicycle-friendly communities. All three are great examples of how resource commitment and dedication over time can transform a city. I think people are very much creatures of habit, so our challenge is really how do you get them to break out of that habit and try something different? Perhaps your community says we want pedestrians and bicycles to have priority. That yes, we want the cars to get through, but we want it to be a safe and comfortable environment for bicycles and pedestrians. You can design that, you can engineer that, you can build that. It's happening, and I think we got out ahead of it. We should have probably done it 10 years ago. But the reality is, you know, we're not Portland. But we've got a chance to become Portland quicker than Portland became Portland in terms of their bicycling initiatives. This is a mainstream vision. This is not about making it cooler for a couple of people to enjoy cycling. This is about getting middle-aged men and women and elderly and kids and people from every, every economic class and every segment of the community out there on bicycles. Uh, have a wonderful day. Go biking. Thank you.